Hey everyone, this is Scott from X Express, and today we are going to be talking about how to configure your Facebook images with your WP1 slider. So for this we'll use the Facebook API. So first we'll need to create a new slider. So I have my new slider over here. I'm just going to name this Facebook slider for obvious reasons. So once I've done this, I'll choose my slider type as Facebook. So it says uh, I'll need to configure the meta box over here and I have my add Facebook image meta box over here and I need the Facebook page album ID. So I'll just quickly go to our Express Teams page and select one album and here I have my album ID. I'll just copy this, go back and paste it right over here. For my Facebook page ID. I'll just copy this URL of my page and go to get my Facebook ID.com uh, find my Facebook ID.com paste the page URL and find num numeric ID so here is my uh, numeric ID or Facebook page ID for the number of photos I'll just uh, fetch 10 photos for the access token I'll go to get access token it should lead you to this page and here I have my app token so to create an app token I'll just go to my apps and create a new app so you need a display name I'm just going to name this WP1 slider and choose a category so this is an ed educational video so educational purposes create app ID uh, write the captcha and submit it so my app is created so to get my uh, API key I'll just go to tools and go to access token tool and here I have my app token I'm just going to copy my app token and paste it here as the access token so once I've done this I will publish to save all my settings I'll go back to my meta box so I'll just go back to my meta box and fetch images so once the image is fetched you will see them listed over here so let's check few of them so you can see the image description image the date of post count and your uh, your post counts and the like counts and the comment count so I'm just going to update this so let's just make this a carousel slider or a single slider your choice so slider type uh, I'm just going to choose false for the box shadows and the page as well I'm just going to choose uh, one of the existing arrows and here you have your uh, font uh, size and color configurations and here you have your auto, con auto control slide settings so I'm just going to quickly update this So once I've updated, I'll just copy the shortcode, create a new page to paste this shortcode, uh, name this page Facebook slider and paste the shortcode over here, publish this page and check the front view. And here we have our Facebook slider. So you can also assign heights from the backend and the slider height will be the same as the images that you have on your Facebook. So just convert it into a carousel slider and save and check our carousel settings. So I have carousel over here. So you can set the width and height and the count of slides and the type as well. So we have uh, two types, you can choose any one you like. So I'm going to choose type one and some more customization 
uh, options like your colors and your font size and we'll just update this and check our front end so if you refresh and we have our carousel slide over here so the image size may take a player role thank you